Hi, my name is Douglas Lobnell, the nation's number one asset protection attorney, and this session is about the how-to. We've already talked about why you need asset protection, we've talked about what the legal system is all about, and how the four pillars have really been deconstructed by the lawyers. So now let's talk about how does it work? How does asset protection work? I mean, we have all these assets, like your cash, your home, your office building, um, your investments, your stocks, your bonds. How do you protect them? What are you going to do? Well, the first step is to take an inventory. We're going to actually look at all these assets and determine, one, are they real? Do you have equity? Is your office building uh, worth $2 million uh, but has $2.5 million of debt? Well, that's not an asset. That's a liability. On the other hand, if you have an office building that's worth 500000 and you have 200000 worth of debt, that's an asset. So we have to figure out how to protect it. So once we understand what your real assets are, what you have that's really worth protecting, then we've got to figure out which of those assets are safe versus which of those assets are risky. So you know, risky assets we have to first do something with. What are we going to do with them? Well, we're going to put them first inside of a safe place. So in this case, we use a special tool called a limited liability company. And the reason we like a limited liability company is because it does just what it says. It limits the liability. So we're going to take that office building, and we're going to put it inside the limited liability company. And then we're going to shut it down in there, lock it up, and that way, if that office building goes bad, it's only going to affect what's inside that limited liability company. It's not going to affect the rest of your assets. Same thing with your boat, or your airplane, or your rental apartment, or your office condo. All of these things are risky, and they either need to be put into one LLC, or depending on their value, several LLCs. One for each risky asset, depending on the value. And usually the number we look for is about $250,000 worth of equity or worth. So great. Now we've got all the limited liability companies in place and we've got all your risky assets protected at least at stage one. Now we take it to stage two and we are going to add a second tool. This tool is bigger and stronger than the limited liability company alone and it's called an asset management limited partnership. What this partnership does is it locks up both the safe assets directly so we can take your cash, put it right in there. We can take your jewelry, your collectibles, your coin collection, we can put it right in there. Because remember, they're safe, so we don't have to worry about them infecting the rest of the assets inside of the limited partnership. Um, we can also take your stocks and your bonds. We can put them right inside the limited partnership. What else is going to go in the limited partnership? Well, all those LLCs. We can take those. They do have valuable assets, so we've already isolated them and the risk that those assets can create. So we can take those and put those in to the asset management limited partnership. So at the end of the day, what you have is you have one big limited partnership that has all your assets. The risky ones are wrapped up in their own LLCs, and the safe ones are in there directly. Then we shut the door, we turn the lock, and we lock it up. And depending on the level of your assets, this may be enough, or it may not. And here's the issue. Because it's still subject to the courts, the judges, and what I like to call the sharks swimming around that are looking for your assets. And those sharks, as we all know, are called lawyers, and those lawyers are quite happy if there are enough assets inside of your limited partnership to spend enough time and energy to break into it. So while it's a great start and certainly the base of any asset protection plan, it's not the final game. Um, the final game is what we call the asset protection trust. This is the key. This is the big banana. This is the thing that we are actually going to make sure actually can protect those assets if they come under real threat. So how does the Asset Protection Trust work? Well, the Asset Protection Trust basically owns the Asset Management Limited Partnership, and hence all of the assets inside of that limited partnership. 
So if the sharks look too aggressive or the situation looks too scary, we can actually take that entire content, everything that's in the Asset Management Limited Partnership, and we get it out of town. What that means is we literally physically transfer those assets out of the United States, away from the U.S. courts, away from the U.S. judges, and away from the threat of the sharks that are willing to take all the time and energy necessary to break into those. So they can't get to it. This creates an effect which allows you to either get out of the liability altogether or negotiate a settlement that is on your terms, not theirs. So I hope this has been helpful in helping you to understand how asset protection actually works. Uh, enjoy the rest of the series. My name is Douglas Lodmel and we'll see you next time.